What's up guys, we are to keep with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to answer the question which are the best characters to gear up to gear tier 16 yes, you heard it right, gear tier 16 for the Gamma Raids and uh, the debate is real, should you even bother doing this? is it worth it to spend gear tier 16 gear in order to obtain gear tier 17 gear? Probably yes, and probably this is something that we should take into consideration because uh, uh, Yeah, man, that's the way the game is going especially because now or soon we're gonna get a gear tier 18 So it's gonna be important for us to make sure we have enough gear tier 17 to get up our characters on top of that That also helps us with the, the apocalypse progress. So yeah, why not now before we start the video we have to mention very very important you don't have to complete the raids by 100% you only have to complete them by 60% and you're gonna get a bunch of uh, T4s and you're gonna get additional gold that you need for the upcoming event where you are going to obtain red stars for Ultron so if you are on the eyes for the if you have your eyes on the red stars for Ultron keep this in mind you and your alliance you don't have to do 100% you just have to do 60% so uh, you you are going to see throughout this video that maybe 60% is not that bad so once again we are going to answer the question which are the best characters in order to take to gear tier 16 and uh, make sure that you are able to do the 60% on the Gamma Raids, on difficulty 4 and also on difficulty 5. So, as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure to smash that like button. Okay, so let's get started. Let's talk about the best characters. And then we are going to talk about which lanes should you skip because some of the lanes they are quite annoying so skipping them is going to be a good idea so let's take a look at the first characters that we have and this is for the outside lanes where we have uh, Avengers, we have Shield and we also have uh, Spider-Verse and uh, in this lane I think you also have uh, Guardians but you can replace Guardians with something else right now Guardians, let's be honest uh, you can use Rocket and you can use Star-Lord for uh, the Nowhere Heist event but those are not good characters to invest uh, for raids okay so in terms of Avengers Shield and Spider-Verse we have Miles if you get up the Web Warriors in the past um, and if you already geared up your Gamma team, and if you have some Teal gear uh, sitting around from the Biotype, I think it's time to gear up your Web Warriors just a little bit more, right? Just a little bit more, at least in the meantime, so you can get all that additional gear tier 17 gear. Then we have Captain Sam, he's an Avenger. We have uh, Mary Hill, she is a Secret Avenger. Uh, also Avenger, and then we have Black Panther and Captain America, so these are all characters that you also need for other lanes, these are characters that you also need for the Doom Raids, these are characters that have value in Cosmic Crucible and also in Alliance Wars, so overall these five characters are gonna be like safe to invest to gear tier 16. Now be careful because this is a lot of vibranium, but uh, these characters have been around for a while, so uh, yeah, you always have to have uh, you always need to have an eye on the vibranium. Okay, so those are the five characters that uh, I recommend for the first nodes on the sides. Then we have the Brotherhood. And in terms of the Brotherhood, we have Magneto, he's part of the Dead Seed. Uh, this guy uh, Sabretooth is part of the Weapon X which is it's okay team it's not like super great and Mystique she also got a rework recently on the Marauders and uh, rec recently it was like last year but together with Magneto they are pretty decent and uh, on these specific notes you can take Captain America, Mary Hill and the Brotherhood so is it like amazing? not really and especially because Sabretooth here uses the same uh, items, the centerpiece uniques as Shang-Chi, as Jessica Jones, as Spider-Weaver, as Spider-Man 2099, so many characters looking out for those molecular clots, I think, and that's going to be a big deal. Mystica, she also uses the adamantium that is used by 
Ultron, and Ultron recently got a rework, so you might be interested in that. And overall, she's not a character that really requires to have a Gear T16 on, but uh, unfortunately, she's the only option available, unless you want to gear up uh, Hawkeye or Black Widow or Nick Fury. So if you want to get up those characters instead, that's fine. You can still use Magneto and skip on uh, Sabretooth and Mystique and invest instead on Hawkeye, Nick Fury and uh, Black Widow. We're going to talk about those characters in a second. Okay, so then we have Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse, you have uh, Sinister Six, you have Tangled Web, you have Web Warriors and you have Symbiotes. Right now, and unfortunately, the best team is still the Web Warriors. And... Uh, you could, yes, you could add here Tangled Web together with some of these guys. The problem is that if you do so, you are not going to have the energy on spawn that the Web Warriors get. And uh, that might uh, be a little bit inconvenient. It depends. If the nodes are like super, super hard and you have to take uh, like Spider Weaver, then I guess that's fine. Uh, because, yeah, let's be honest, like investing on all these characters to till gear, like at least Spider Punk, replacing him with uh, Spider Weaver looks way more interesting, and uh, maybe some of the other characters as well. So we'll have to think about it, but uh, Web Warriors, it's an option. If you can mix it up with Tangled Web or even or even Symbiotes, in case you geared up uh, Symbiote Spider-Man to gear T16 in the past, that can be one additional option because all of them give buffs to each other. Symbiote Spider-Man gives buffs to Tangled Web, Tangled Web gives buffs to uh, Spider-Verse, and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's move on to the next team. We have the Wakanda. So this is also for the side lanes and also the center line at the top, Wakanda. In my opinion, this is the best Wakanda team because we have Shuri giving defense up and you also have Mbaku giving defense up. We have Bashenga giving buffs with his ultimate and we have Black Panther also giving offense up, counters and so on. And of course, Okoy. In my opinion, in terms of Wakanda raid team, this is the best one. Now, in terms of Kree characters, and this one is something that you should definitely skip. This is one of the lines that you should skip. And once again, you don't have to do 100%. You only have to do 60%. Therefore, pretty much skip these. But if you are crazy, if you, if you are crazy, if you want to invest in some Kree characters, I guess these are going to be the best ones, especially Phyla Vell, uh, she's amazing on Infinity Watch. Then we have Captain Marvel, she's part of the A-Force, which is a, a decent team. And then the other ones, I guess this is the best, like Ultimus, he gives HP and block chance to them, small amount. Korath, he gives turn meter to, to Ultimus, making him go faster by applying towns to the enemies. So. I guess, like, if uh, if you have a lot of resources to spend, go ahead and do so, because, uh, yeah, it, there is no point in doing 100%, once again. Okay, now, in terms of X-Men team, we are going to use this team. I think this team is quite amazing. You could use Iceman instead of Magic, but I think Magic is also decent. We have Rogue, Gambit, Jubilee, Beast. And we used this team on Doom 3.5 in the past. I was the only one using this team, and I was the only one able to one-shot the nodes uh, easily. And uh, it was with this team, but instead we had Iceman. In this specific situation, it's up to you. If you want to prefer to take Iceman to gear tier 16, is very, very expensive. And this is why I recommend Magic instead, because she's a lot cheaper. And she provides barrier and drain, which can help the sustain on this team. Okay, so now we have the shield characters, and you can use these together with the Brotherhood, like we mentioned before. But these are just options. Like if you already have Sabretooth, if you already have Magneto, then you want to use Hawkeye or Black Widow. If you already have uh, something else, you can use Nick Fury instead. So it's up to you to combine some of these characters. They might get reworks in the future because, as you have seen, all the Wave One Avenger characters have been getting reworks uh, one by one, and it's very very likely that uh, all of these three characters will have rework within the next uh, four to five months. Okay, then we have the Heroes for Hire, and this is also going to be required for the center. These are some of the most difficult, uh, difficult nodes. And uh, most people like Taskmaster in this specific situation. 
I prefer Luke Cage. I prefer Luke Cage, but uh, I can understand uh, the appeal of Taskmaster. He's a very good character with those blinds, the bleeds, the stuns, and he's also part of the underworld. Unfortunately, Heroes for Hire is not like an amazing team, but they are the best option you have available, and you need to have at least three of them. Yes, you need to at, at least have three of them, and this is because whenever you kill an enemy, you apply offense down to the enemies, and you also apply uh, speed up to your team. So this is going to be a lot better because characters like uh, Misty Knight and Luke Cage that are extremely slow, they are gonna have speed up all the time. So this is gonna be super convenient. So if you want the best team, you take uh, Heroes for Hire plus Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. If you want the most convenient team to gear up, then you take the same team, but instead of Luke Cage, you take Taskmaster. Okay, so now we have either, should you gear up either? No, you should not, but uh, you kind of have uh, the Winter Soldier that you have on the Rebirth team. Unfortunately, you cannot use Shield and either at the same time. Uh, so you cannot have Captain America and uh, Winter Soldier on the same team. And uh, overall, like, uh, either is just not a great team and... Uh, it's just be okay, like, you have different options available for these nodes, so let's take a look at these nodes and see what you can skip and what you can do instead uh, in order to, to complete this ride. So when you take a look at the map of the ride, so green is what you can complete, purple is what is extremely difficult for you to complete. So these nodes right here are shield and aim, shield and aim. That means that you'll need not only Captain America and Mary Hill, but you also need Hawkeye, Nick Fury, and Black Widow. So, very likely that these shield characters are going to get a rework, or that the AIM team is going to have a rework. So, keep that in mind, because right now this is pretty much impossible to beat on difficulty 5. Then we have the Pimtech nodes and the Kree nodes. And uh, I didn't put any Pimtech characters here, because... I don't want to suggest you to invest on uh, Pimtech characters and then those characters do not get reworked. There is a big, big rumor that they are going to get reworked very, very soon. So let's just hold up a little bit and see if it's going to show up uh, next patch. And uh, we avoid investing on the wrong Pimtech characters. So that Pimtech part you are going to skip. So I would tell you, like, if you are crazy, if you want to complete it by 100%, invest on these Kree characters instead. Filavel and Captain Marvel is pretty much guaranteed a free invest. It's not like, it's safe investment, kind of. And Ultimus is not terrible either. It's just Minerva and Korra that are a little bit more questionable. But yeah, if you are using Ultimus, it's going to give HP and block chance to everyone else. So it's not going to be the worst. Okay, so those are the two ones you should skip. Then we have Hydra here in the middle. And for Hydra, you don't have to worry about it because you have Heroes for Hire and Defenders. So in this specific situation on the middle lane, you really have to invest on Hero for Hires plus Jessica Jones. And after you can take Winter Soldier, but once again, if you want like the best team, the safest team to win this, on these nodes, you need to take uh, Luke Cage. He's amazing, he's going to give you defense up, deflects, he's going to give you death proofs and also energy, which is very important. People forget how good Luke Cage is because he's always on defense, right? He's always on defense, so we don't even remember about that. Okay, so Avengers, Spider-Verse here, this is going to be super easy. Avengers and Guardians, skip the Guardians, focus on this team that I suggest right here. You also have other Avengers options like Bionic Avengers, Young Avengers, you can even bring Squirrel Girl here if you want. So for these ones, they are quite easy. The same goes for the other side. And this one is the one with Shield and Brotherhood. I, once again, I recommend Magneto. Uh, maybe Sabertooth if you have the additional molecular clots, but uh, beyond that, uh, uh, be careful with the investments like Mystique. She's a nice character for raids, but uh, yeah, just be careful. Just be careful with it because she she's not like a safe investment and she's an expensive character to get up at this point in time. Okay, so beyond that, we have Wakanda, Easy Mode. 
the Pim Tech and Cree already talked about. Then we have Brotherhood Mercenary and X-Men. We are going to ignore that and just focus on the X-Men because that's safe investment or investments that were required in the near past. And uh, then we have Heroes for Hire, Defender, Wakanda and Shield. These ones you just go Wakanda all the way. It's just a safe way, just Wakanda. You could probably replace some character with Captain America. I don't think it's necessary. And finally, for the Spider-Verse, these nodes usually are quite problematic. Symbiotes, they would lose a lot here. So maybe try with the Web Warriors. And even if your Web Warriors are not good enough, you could use also Symbiotes together with Tangled Web or just use Tangled Web with some additional characters. And remember that Kingpin and uh, Mr. Negative, they are also Spider-Verse, so you have some additional options in case you work on uh, the Underworld. Now, one suggestion that I recommend to your alliance is to take like a screenshot of these and uh, ask each of the alliance members to put the power of uh, their teams on each of them and send to the captain, send to the alliance leader, so you have to do the least investment possible on your alliance. Like, you don't want to force someone in a line where they don't have any characters invested in. And uh, on, on the other side, you have characters, uh, you have players that invested on specific characters and they could be used on another line. So I think this is going to be important. These are the best characters for you to invest and to bring to these rights. And uh, adjust your... Uh, lanes in alliance uh, raids for these gamma raids according to the power of each of the teams like it gives a lot of work but you're gonna save tons and tons of gold and training materials if you do that uh, just like uh, two hours of organization and you're going to do just fine so yeah guys that's it the best teams and the best characters to invest in in order to complete 60 percent on the gamma 4.5 raids once again, the best way is just to skip the shield with aim and also the beam tech with the Kree because unfortunately those characters are just so bad right now that I cannot recommend anything like that. And once again, are the rewards worth it? Yes, the rewards are worth it because gear tier 17 you get one orb per uh, tier that you clear, so 30%, 60%, and 100%, that's going to make a huge difference, and especially if you are trying to unlock uh, Apocalypse as early as possible, you are really, really going to require all these additional orbs. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to smash that like button, and if you found the video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord, share it with your alliance leaders, so they can organize properly the lanes for this insane Gamma Raid, and and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I will catch you guys later.